absolutely the, the divine pleasure to reach out in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, to, to touch someone, to pray for someone, regardless of what their need is. God's led me mostly into the emotional healing, the healing of the memories. And um, we were just with a young man a couple of weeks ago that we knew way back in one of our churches, and, and uh, he fought in Vietnam. And he's been in one of the, the veteran hospitals here for the last four or five weeks with post-traumatic post uh, yeah. stress syndrome. And here was this whole hospital full of these men and women that are going through this particular hurtful thing. And, and now, like 40 years later, they're having all of the trauma of, of killing people or being shot at themselves. And, and so he was telling us, well, they've got good programs here. They have good teachings and classes that we have to go to every day um, to get over the, the trauma, to not be so withdrawn to be able to communicate what we're feeling. And he said, basically, they tell us to forget it because we, it wasn't our fault. We were following orders. And he said, how do you forget something like that? Well, we were standing out by a lake talking to him. And I, and I said, Donnie, um, what one of those traumas is really, really vivid in your mind right now? Do you have one that was worse than others? And he said, well, yeah, it was the first people that I had to kill. And he said, I can just see that so vividly. And I said, do you need to forgive yourself for having to do that? And all of a sudden, this big man just falling apart. And all I could think of was, Lord, I hope I haven't pushed him over the edge. And pretty soon he quit. And I said, just, just speak forgiveness to yourself, Don. And then ask God to forgive you for your attitude towards yourself. And he did that. And then we said, Lord, would you move into that picture, that scene, that memory that is just driving him, and let him see you with him at that time, because he was there. And in a moment, I said, what do you, what do you see Jesus doing, Donnie? And he said, he's just holding me. He's just holding me. And so we talked a little bit, and I said, now, Don, go back and look at that picture again in your mind. What's happening? And he said, well, it's fading. It's fading. And I said, the Lord won't wipe it away. That's your history. But he can transform it. And so every time you look at that now, you'll see Jesus there with you. And it will transform it. And it won't be such a terrible, horrible thing that drives you from now on. When you're able to work with someone like that and relieve them, Watch the Lord relieve them of that particular bondage, of that hurt. <laughs> There's no greater joy. It's just absolutely a delight to, to be able to walk uh, and know that you can help somebody because Jesus is right there behind you and he's the one that's bringing the healing. I know it's a, it's a scary thing, it's a frightening thing to step out and pray for people because your head is always saying, what happens if it doesn't work? You know, what if they're not healed? What if they die? Um, what if they don't? Yes, what if they don't? What if God brings healing? We've seen it happen in so many times, in so many ways. And, um, and you know it's God, you know it's not you. And so you know he's, he's using you to bring whatever kind of healing is needed for that person right then and there. And it is such a joy. Um, you know, when people go out and they have coffee or, or they're with friends or family and they're sick or hurting, <laughs> you can love on them, but when you reach out and start to pray for them, it's a whole, it's a whole different thing because the Lord just begins to move through you and it's the most wonderful thing in the world. I, I'm not a person that likes to go to meetings. You know, we always have lots of meetings in church, and yes, some of them are necessary. But um, when your lay people are trained on how to pray for people, then church becomes a very living, exciting place to be. 
where they know that they're being used by God to bring healing for folks. And uh, I would just encourage everyone, you know, go for it, go for it. Um, I've been embarrassed or been, I've been a fool with a lot of things just I've done personally. Um, so once in a while a person can step out and be a fool for the Lord if you can see powerful things happen.